let's move this out of the way so that we've got somewhere to work. I've cut two already. I need to cut another two, um, or another three in total. Uh, what I'm doing is cutting um, 50 centimeter long lengths of, I believe this is six millimeter aluminum tube. Okay. Um, and the reason I'm cutting the tube is because I'm going to be building a two meter wide band antenna. Uh, that's the two meter band. That is 144 uh, through to 146. And in this antenna hopefully will work from 143 all the way through to 147 megahertz. Uh, with a particularly nicely low SWR throughout the entire bands. Um, I don't know if you remember or if you watched a previous video um, based on the Skylab. Uh, well, this particular two meter antenna is going to be based quite literally on that antenna. Um, I'm building a two meter Skylab meter band skylab for the 144 megahertz and to start with i'm going to need five lengths of rod because this is going to be a four-legged version rather than a three-legged version five lengths of rod all of them 50 centimeters in length okay so that's where we're at so that's what i'm cutting This is two one three coax. I just need the inner. Okay. This SO239, a no, sorry, SO239 chassis mount, um, and this is a, an SO, uh, a PL259. Um, obviously, they are paired. The idea is that they, let's see if I can do this, they would go together quite happily with the coax. And the idea that's going to fit inside our plastic, okay? Now, I won't do it yet because it's too tight, but that's, that's the purpose behind that. And then what we're going to do, we are going to solder our centre core from our tooth 213 uh, up like so. I'll snip it about there. I'll peel back the top of it just ever so slightly. And one of these then will sit over the top of it, like, if I can get it in, like so. Okay, and then I'll glue that in and around. And then I'm going to put four of these at each side, like so. Bend them down at 120 degrees from here so that uh, we make the uh, the customary um, I don't know, 120 degree um, legs. And that should be good for our two meter band. But anyway, let's, uh, let's continue. Thank you. 
still hot. So the idea is that we splay the end out like so and find the semi stratus pipe one with a decent end on it there you go Need to crimp it. And then I'll hot glue this on a bit later. I think that's probably good enough. And if needs be, I can drill it and put a small little grommet through at the bottom. You know, grab a screw or something to keep it in, but I think that's probably going to be good enough. Okay, one down. Now for the next bit. Okay, so here's our uh, our four rods, each with the end crimped and turned and then drilled. And what we're going to do now is simply attach them to the end of ISO um, with a bolt, and uh, we'll do that now. Thank you. 
So I connected the coax at the bottom of the PL259 and wrapped it with a little bit of um, amalgamation tape just below it. Uh, as you can see, I've put lots of um, glue on the top. This is uh, both to waterproof and also to uh, hold all of the uh, aerial um, radials and the main driver in place. Um, and now what I'm going to do is push that piece of UPVC pipe uh, that we melted into shape earlier back up underneath it. So. Uh, Bear with. Okay. So the PVC pipe's pushed up as far as I can get it. And um, what I need to do now is put some amalgamation tape around this joint here to waterproof it. Uh, and then this will act as the as the pole to mount it with, if uh, that makes sense. Anyway, let's um, mount it. We'll put a an SO on the end of there, and then we'll SWR it and see where we're at. Okay, so it started raining, which isn't particularly helpful. Um, but here you are. I have stuck my antenna I've just made on top of a fiberglass pole. Nice decorator's one. It's not up very high, maybe three meters, four meters high. Uh, got the coax cable coming down to here. I'm gonna put my antenna analyzer right now. Uh, and just to find out where it's resonant. Just go down, bring it in. Sorry about the, uh, the coax mess, there's a few lines there. Okay, 138, it's 1 1.8, so it's actually usable, funnily enough. Anyway, but um, let's go. So it goes back out again at 40. Comes back in at 40, um, was it 42 and a half? Yeah, we've got it at 41. Now at 44, it's down to 1 to 1. 45, 1 to 1. 46, 1 1.2. 1 um, 1.5 to 1 at 47 and a half. 48 is 1.8. 49 is uh, just above 2. So it's got a few meg of um, bandwidth, as you can see. Anyway, let's, uh, let's stick a radar on it and see if it'll open a few repeaters. I'm going around and uh, yep, enjoy, I think it opens the, the repeaters. Sorry, right, my friend. I'm great talking to you this afternoon. You take care, my friend. Again, uh, we'll, we'll talk after later on. Let's see if it... Uh, Opens up a few local ones. Yup. No, GH, that's a 70 centimetre. Guess that's working wonderfully. Stroud. Oh, that's a possibility. M0 MSN testing access. Jolly good. Uh, my name is Damir and uh, call sign 9 Alpha 3 Fox uh, Brava Delta and I call from Croatia. Good evening to all. 